heard of the drink apple pie before. Okay, well, if you haven't heard of it, that's okay, because I'm going to be showing you a little bit how it's made. Um, this apple pie recipe is very easy to follow, and it has been around for a very long time, and it's also a very good party favor. Every year, my dad and I make apple pie, and everyone we offer to likes this recipe. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a non pop up apple pie drink by telling you all the ingredients and utensils that you will need, how to make the apple pie, and what my family does with our apple pie and how you can use it too. So the first thing that you need to do is gather all the ingredients. So the first thing you need is one gallon of apple juice, one gallon of apple cider, six cups of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar. You need um, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon or one cinnamon stick. If you don't want to use all of the sugar, you can use honey as a substitute instead. And the utensils that you will need are one big pot, like a uh, yay big, or you can use two, two of these like this. Oh, and then you need a big mason jar and a little mason jar. Well, that's up to your preference if you want bigger little ones. And then you need a wooden spoon to mix the sugar later. And then you need a liquid measuring cup. But we've also used a like a coffee cup to pour it into the mason jar. But that's because we couldn't find that. I have shown you all the ingredients that you will need. Now I'm going to tell you how to make the apple pie. Just about anyone can make this apple pie recipe if you really wanted to. Then, here are the steps you have to follow to make a good apple pie. It's very simple. The first step is to put the pot on the stove. I don't have a stove here because we're not in the correct room and we wouldn't have enough time to make it anyway. Because it can take about mm, a whole evening. Like if you start at like 4, it can go to like 8 or 10 at night if you make a whole bunch. And then you add the apple juice, apple cider, cinnamon, and sugar into the pot. Then you wait for it to start to boil. So it may take a long time. So while you're waiting for it to dry, you can take each of your jars and set them up in like rows so that you don't have to do them later. And after it starts to boil, you um, Keep stirring until all of the sugar has fully dissolved. And then, so once it's fully dissolved, you can start putting the mason and the apple pie into the mason jars. But you gotta be very careful with this because you don't wanna end up burning yourself from the hot liquid. It has to be extremely hot to melt all of the sugar in it. After all of your mason jars are filled, you can put the lids on, which I can show you how. Usually these are sealed, which I'll tell you in a little bit, but so we don't shouldn't be that hard. It's very simple. And then so after a little while, you after you put the lid on, you'll start to hear a um, popping noise, and it's the mason jar sealing all of the air because when you put it in, since it was hot, that is expanded, and so it cools down and it seals the lid down so this won't be as high as it is. And it seals out all the bacteria so that it can stay up to the in the fridge for a couple months, maybe a year, if you really want to keep it in the oven. And so when you finally want to open one, you're gonna to have to use like a handle of a knife or fork or something, or something else that you can find to take the lid off since it's pressurized. For some people like to use cinnamon sticks in the recipe, and that is done after all the apple pie is put into the mason jars. You just take a cinnamon stick, put it in there to get the apple flavor. But when we did this, we found out that um, it starts to fall apart, like deteriorate. So you get like little chunks of like cinnamon in them, and that doesn't taste very good. I just have told you how to make your own batch of apple pie. Now I'm going to be telling you how to make, not how to make, 
how my family uses our apple pie and give you some ways that you can use it too. In my family, my dad is the one that makes apple pie every year. He has been making the apple pie, I would say, for about 10 years or so, maybe more. I don't know, I remember, I didn't fully ask him. And every year I help him make it. And like I said before, my dad likes to use two big pots that are about this tall. And we make about five or six cases with 12 mason jars each of big and little ones too. And the reason my dad likes to make the pie every year is so that he can give it to his family and friends. And that's like his biggest motivation to make this. And sometimes, like I said before, we, you can use it as a pie favor. We use it as that. If like our friends want to come over, we always tend to bring one since everyone likes it. And so every year around Thanksgiving, my family and friends of our family always start asking him, when are you going to make it in because of how much they like it? I'm not a big fan of the actual recipe, but this one's pretty good too. As you can see, there are many ways to use apple pie. Today I'm showing you how to make apple pie by telling you the ingredients and utensils that you will need, how to make the apple pie properly, and what my family does with the apple pie, and how you can use the apple pie. I hope all of you have taken something away from this demonstration. Maybe you can make your own batch of apple pie. Thanks for listening to my speech.